Hey, here's a roller coaster. King Dakar. Somebody ever been there? Is it? The, it used to be a big one, but it's still a big one. But hey, so this roller coaster has a vertical drop of 127 meters. So there's my roller coaster. Comes down 127 meters. Suppose the coaster has a speed of 6 meters per second at the top. So I've got a V initial equals 6 meters per second. Find the speed of the coaster at the bottom, ignoring friction and air resistance. Conservation of energy, right? We use conservation of energy. On Friday's class, we will revisit this coaster again, where we will introduce friction and solve it slightly different. In today's lecture, we're not going to introduce friction. So this is initial energy equals final energy. Again, what's the initial state of affairs? Do I have kinetic energy? Kinetic initial, do I have any? It's moving at 6 meters per second, right? So I have some kinetic energy. Do I have potential energy at the beginning? Yes, I have. So I have MGH1. Hey, final state of affairs. Do I have kinetic energy? Yes. 1 half MV. Actually, just put it as kinetic final. Do I have potential energy at the end of the game? No. Zero potential energy at the bottom because now we're at the bottom. Is that on the ground? It may be, it may not be, but it's as low as the coaster can go. All right, so that's the bottom. Now, so that there's no final potential energy. Now we plug them in, 1 half mv initial squared plus mgh equals 1 half mv final squared. M goes away as usual. For us, in the algebra, V final is going to be V initial squared plus 2GH, all square root. Now, for those of you who are inclined to do this, do not write all these different variations of formulas on your formula sheet. The only formula you need is energy equals initial. And then you need to know what kinetic energy is, and you need to know what potential energy is. That's the only three formulas you need to write. Don't write every version of every possibility on it. Just start with this and go through the process. That way you, it ends up being the right one in the end. Plug and chug, put all your numbers in, grind it all out. You're going to get 50.3 meters per second, which is approximately 112 miles per hour. You're moving pretty quick by the time you get to the bottom of it. We're going to find out, if you look at the problem that's listed in, the, in that set of notes, the real speed at the bottom of it is 45 meters per second. So there is a loss of energy to friction, which we'll deal with on Friday. Forty-five meters per second versus fifty meters per second. So where does that energy go? That it went to friction and air resistance. But Friday is when we'll deal with this problem. Any questions so far? So the the physics, the hard part of these problems is just that setup, and then it's just algebra, which are prone to careless mistakes. So don't make them. 